Enjoy fun with friends. Take a break. You're in good company. Well, if you're hitting yourself because you're paying too much on taxes, you know, the tax deadline was yesterday, so now last year's taxes are a memory, right? But what about this year's? Well, to tell us how to best minimize our taxes for 2024 are Les and Alex Zarka from Zarka Financial. Thank you both for being we here. We are back. Tough Thanks act to follow. Yeah. But, Alex, what are we going to do here? We're going to stomp out taxes for this year. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice job. Following that segment. Well that done, segment. yeah. All right, let's talk about it because, you know, so often we, are, we get sticker shocked yeah. by the tax that we have to pay on April 15th or when the deadline is due. Uh, and it doesn't have to be that way, does it? Well, this year especially, uh, I think there's a big surprise for folks because interest rates have gone up so much right. in the last 12 months. So to give you a quick example, if, if uh, you had 100000 in the bank last year, you made maybe $200 in interest, okay, you paid maybe you know, 40 bucks in taxes. That same 100,000 would generate about 5,000 of interest. You're talking about $1,400 in taxes. Wow. You know, so that's good news, bad news. The good news is you made more money. The bad news is that now all of a sudden you right. got a lot of taxes. You gotta to get pay, it back. And that's not withheld on. So that's something that you have to pay at the end of the year. So, you know, for a lot of times, you know, what we're telling folks is, you know, you've got to start planning at the beginning of the year you know, especially now with interest rates staying this high, mm -hmm. you know, looking at alternatives, looking at, you know, maybe tax-free bonds, looking at, you know, something, you know, deferred accounts, anything that will help you next year when you file your taxes. But you got to start that now. You can't wait until, you know, December. So, Alex, let me ask you this then. If that's the case, um, are we... Are we seeing more people surprised and shocked because the interest rates were like, oh, we didn't see this coming, but mm -hmm. in fact, you did, both of you did, and, and the financial well, yeah. advisor would. Yeah, because because the inflation took off the last few years, we've seen a lot of the rates just come up like crazy. Right. So, you know, people were taking advantage of the bank CDs, and, you, I mean, mm -hmm. and rightfully so. I mean, you okay. can get three months, six months bank CDs still for about 5%, so they weren't accustomed to that. So when the tax time came around, they actually saw the interest that, that they had to pay the taxes right. on. It was a big sticker shock, like Les mentioned. Okay, so here we are, four months into this year, 2024. What can we do now mm -hmm. that will save us for paying 2025. Yeah, so I'll let you take that one. Well, the the easiest way you can do it, and we talked about this uh, a little bit last week, is take advantage of your employer-sponsored plan. So if you have a 401k or 403b, if you're over 50, you can max that out at 30, oh, about thirty thousand dollars. Okay, that will lower your taxable income by thirty thousand dollars for that year. So keep in mind that thirty thousand then saves you, you know, give or take about nine thousand dollars in taxes. Yeah. Huge. Make yes, a huge it's a difference. huge difference. And if you don't have a 401k or 403b, you can take advantage of uh, IRAs. You know, you can max out mm -hmm. an IRA and a spousal IRA. That's about, if you're over 50, about $8,000 for the year. Right. The other one that most people forget about yeah. uh, are HSAs, uh, health savings accounts, which are a lot more yeah. pre uh, prevalent now. But people forget those are actually uh, tax deductible as well. So if and you, not if only you have tax a family, deductible, it's tax free. And it's tax, it grows tax free and wow. comes out tax yeah. free. So if you have a family, that's another eight thousand right. dollars that so lowers if, your taxable income. If we're looking at it like income as marbles, and I'm not trying to break this down too sim simplistic, but we all want more marbles. We want to make more money, but if we only have ten, mm -hmm. it's where we put them that actually will help us save money because we can protect that Absolutely. and maybe not pay as much and be shocked. Absolutely. Right. And again, you know, when you back back to like savings accounts, I mean, if you can defer the tax on it or if you right. get it tax free, moving that it marble compounds a lot faster than yeah. when you take it on it's taxable. Yeah. The other thing I would just caution: we we saw a number of people get caught in this trap this year is that if they're taking out large distributions, let's say from their IRA accounts or. Mm. Retirement accounts. Let's say someone wants to take a cruise for you know five thousand dollars. That's actually going to cost them seven thousand after tax. Mm -hmm. So you really have to be careful in the income tax planning in terms of where you're getting your income from, in especially right. in retirement. So if you're taking monthly income, like Les mentioned, from an IRA, yeah, that's all taxable. But if you have a big vacation coming up, you know, you may want to pull that from a Roth IRA, for example. See, this is why right. you need help, and this is why we can't do it alone. All right, Zarka Financials waiting for you. My goodness, thanks so much for the insight. We appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having us. All right, so it's four four zero seven seven nine fourteen thirty. And, of course, uh, the website is ZarkaFinancial.com. We're going to be right back with more of uh, Stop. Good, Stop out Good taxes. Company. <laughs> this segment of Good Company was sponsored by Zarka Financial.